All right now, children, I'm back again, and I made a mistake on the story about the false teeth and the baptizing. I got to get it all corrected because the story don't make much sense. It ain't near as fine, funny without telling <laughs> what really did happen about the false teeth. So here it goes. Now that second time when I had to baptize that that, that stout woman, when my foot swept on that rock, and I had to pull her up and my false teeth come out. Well, I said we looked everywhere and we couldn't find them. And they took up that offering to get me. See, everybody wants to try to call when I'm trying to do a video. Let me see who it is here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't recognize the number. So they're just going to have to call back later or some other time or something. I don't know. Okay, wait till that dumb phone quits ringing and carrying on. And then we'll we'll finish up here. So, went ahead and baptized the woman, like I told you, we put her completely under the water like we're supposed to. And then a, a, a few minutes later, that same woman that had been up there speaking in tongues said take up the offering. Why well, she said, Brother Kelly, the Holy Ghost just showed me where your teeth was at. And I just told you the preacher's name, didn't want to tell you the preacher's name, but anyway, said if you look over to the right, and look straight down. Said you'll find your teeth down there. Well, we done looked everywhere. We had the sticks out and everything, and everybody was walking the bank and looking for them teeth. Couldn't find them nowhere. But this is the truth now. What I'm telling you. I went over to the right, two step, just like she said, and I looked down in the water. And when I looked down in that water. I looked down in that water, there was them teeth looking right up at me, just a smiling at me, and the water was crystal clear, just as crystal clear as clear could be, and we, I looked down there, and I reached down in that water, and picked them false teeth up and put them back in my mouth, and the worst thing about that whole story is I had to give all that money back to all them people. Anyway, praise the Lord. Shout hallelujah. God can do it now, children. He can find your teeth no matter where they're at. Everybody give the Lord a big shout of praise. I know it ain't near as funny, but let me tell it all together. I told it so many times. I don't know why I got so messed up. But sometimes you get things mixed up a little bit. Uh, especially when you get a little bit older, you know, and things get on you and pressures and things of life and everything like that, children. You know what, what goes on. Well, go with God, but... You know, the Lord is always faithful and always bring you through all these things and he even find your teeth when you get them lost. You children, be good. Have a good week. Be good to one another now. And treat each other good and go to church and shout your heels off and let the good Holy Ghost bless you now. We'll be talking to you soon.